We're coming down, coming down at the speed of sound. Down, coming down at the speed of sound. All right, guitar family, look what I got. Check this out. Bam. Oh, snap. Yeah, here's the big size one. The OG from the 80s, or when is this from? Yeah, the 80s, man. This I bought this on eBay a while back. But today we're gonna try out the new one, the little rat, the little rat, right? The little rat, we'll just put this one right here next to it so you can be like, hey man, I got that big rat next to the little rat for? Bam, like that, right? And the beer we're drinking is Strange Fruit Orange IPA from the Kona brand, look at that, bam. Focus, baby. Mm. Let's hear this thing out, man. All right. Here's the clean tone. I like they say. Bam. Let's try that out. You gotta play a little ratty if you're gonna play a rat, right? Mmm, that fingers got wet. I don't like that. Well, I set the settings to something I, I like already, so it's already set to a setting. And this is what chords would sound like on the little rat. Let's look, let's clean it up. Here's the distortion. Like Clean. It's super clean. It could be like a booze. And that's the pedal on. This is a pedal on. Watch. Here it is on. It's a neck pickup. Humbugger. That's some more. this pedal and I'm gonna do a demo of it. It's not a demo, I review it. This is a pedal I bought, I got it, and um, I'm gonna tell you if I like it or not, because I don't really review pedal, I just tell you how I feel about them. Mm. And I own the big one, and I know what it sounds like, and this one? So, a lot of people use these um, to get like grungy tones. One thing I, I'll tell you right now that, uh, that I kind of don't like about the pedal is the knobs. You can't see where they are. I mean, like, can you see where they are? Let me see the big one. The big one has lines, right? This one doesn't have lines. Um, on the top, you do have like the top, um, the, the mount where you could mount the. And a lot of people complain that you don't get, um, you don't save any space when you when you put the the input and outputs on the sides like it you still have to put you know some cables and it eats up the the real estate so that's not good but this one it's top mounted and everyone's like hey that's really good so top mounted is a that's a plus for me i'm 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 not really bothered by it i wish cables were a little bit more flexible and thinner but it doesn't really bother me um what this one didn't come with is like rubber feet on the bottom of it so and the screws don't sit really flush so if you put it on a wood table it could scratch big time so that uh i don't know if it got left out of the box or not but it's not a big deal and I, they probably made these to be velcroed so that's probably what it is people want to velcro these and um that's the thing about them. Hey, it looks cool though, man. And this pedal, what this pedal has, that this doesn't pedal have, is it has a 9-volt adapter that works with any other 9-volt adapter. 
See, this one had the old pin. The old pin. You have to have an adapter like this to make it nine negative in the middle. And now it doesn't have that. Another thing that it doesn't have also is the battery. I don't think you can put a battery in this, right? Unless I'm wrong, I don't think you can put a battery in it. Um, it has an LED, which this one doesn't have. Later ones do have it, but this one doesn't have an LED. Another problem, not a problem, but like, yeah, I think it is a problem. See these lines? These lines aren't here. And neither are like the the cool little little clock lines either, you know, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or whatever they are. They're not here either. That would have been cool, but um, they bothered to put the other stuff on top. See? Let's hear a little bit more. Let's do chords and then some lead work. Let's go a little bit more warmer. It's sort of like... Yeah, the filter on this like um, works in reverse than a tone knob. You know, the tone knob, you'll have it all the way up, all the way to the right, I guess, would be um, its brightest setting. Whereas on one of these pedals, all the way up is the, is the dark setting. You have to go backwards. I don't know. <laughs> That's what makes it unique. Let's do some lead lines. Let's do some lead... Let's try them with them. Um, first was a single chord. The same kind of line. Like. And that's on um, the, the humbucker. This guitar is like really weird switching. It uses a, a knob that also is not like marked. So where am I, you know? All right, it's a Gibson. It's a Gibson. It's a Fender Squire 51. Let's go back to that humbugger. Let's roll off the. Let's roll off the tone. A lot of people say that if you roll off the tone, like. This guitar doesn't have a tone knob either. That's a weird guitar. Let's try some, what do you call, butyl chords, um, right? Let's roll back the, the volume a bit. Okay. All right, let's try with, um, if we turn it off, what's the point, right? So let's lower the volume. And I mean, the, it's all about the distortion on this, right? Because once it's gone, I mean, what do you have? Like it. Um, I've had bad experiences with other rat copies or clones, and they they sound way too brittle. This kind of sounds like the rat, like that rat. I'm gonna do a side by side in the next video, but this video is all about this one. Let's do a little bit more. Uh, uh, let's do some bends in the higher register. I mean the lower register. There you go.
can add just like a tinge of it, right? this pedal. Uh, I like it. Right off the bat, I like it. And then when I lower it, it sounds even, it sounds, it still sounds cool. Yeah, sometimes on the fuzz pedals, you can't really play like, uh, like broken notes, like... Broken chords, right? Broken chords. Tapping on the on the neck pick of it. Let's try a little bit more of those beetle chords. Mm. Make sure we're in tune. And supposedly they're supposed to be exactly. I don't know. I don't think it has the same chip. But I think like the later model is supposed to be like the bigger model. That came later, and it's supposed to be exactly the same sound and everything, but we'll see. We'll see, won't we? Alright. That's enough. Take a second to tune. So the whole thing was out of tune, but you know, it was ratty, right? <laughs> I'm sure she people were like, come on, I want to review this pedal. It's not a review. This is like a pedal I bought, and if I like it, I'm going to do things I... Let's try a couple of, uh, let's um, go full volume, right? Like full distortion. Hey, it's already there. I mean, like full volume. I think if we do full volume, it's going to get really loud. Wise. Yeah, once you get there, it's a little too loud. Wise. I'm going to go loud. And then back it up. That's really loud. That's about as like, uh, yeah. It's about as loud as I'm willing to go. And I play bedroom, um, I play bedroom eyes. No, I play bedroom levels and, and small amps, and I like that sound. I'm like, some people are like big amp people. Uh, not me. I like little amps, and I like to get a nice, nice tone and like just rock it up. And this, this rap pedal seems to be doing it, man. Like, um, um, Except for that you can't see where you're at, but I'm back here, you know, like, but like these little knobs, they should have a little white line on them. Maybe I'll put it on, I have a marker, you know, and the bottom does say pro cool. Look, I turn it up, it goes. Rat. The rat. This one says pro cool. But other than that, I think it sounds really... I think it has a lot of, like... When I turn the knobs, there's a lot of response. Like, even with, like, the filter, like... It's, like, it's really brittle, though. Form that up a bit. Lower the volume a bit. Mm. 
There's some tapping with the pedal. Let's try a little bit more of the, the single coil on here. <laughs> that single coil just right away. Let's roll back the. Nah, I don't really. Not, not, let's like, uh, bring it up higher. That's all the, the, the filter all the way up. Nah, I'm not not doing it. So, nah, I'm not really digging the... I, I don't really dig the super high burly filter. I like it to be the middle. Not the middle, but like warmer air. So once again, let's do some chords, heavy chords. this pedal so thumbs up man <laughs> like exactly like i said this is not a review i'm not going to show you i'm not going to be like this think of my hand model the new red rat i like it and we're gonna rock it and i'm gonna make another video with like daddy versus junior little rat yeah and that was drop d tuning so it's regular e and you just make the the last note in the 60, a D. All right, kids, your uncle did out. Remember, the new rat pedal, man. Look at it, it comes in a cool box. <laughs> you 
<laughs> and like an unboxing. <laughs> unboxing. We're gonna, hey, stay tuned. We're going to have some more bodily. <laughs> Coming down, coming down, speed and sound.